Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today is an uh, unpackaging video. You may not even have to use my knife on this one. I already removed the shipping labels. Um, this is a, I'll call it a random G-Shock. I'm not even sure what model this is. It's, uh, I bought it used uh, mainly because it came on a combi bracelet. And I think this is, I believe this is the first gen combi bracelet. And I have a watch with the second gen combi bracelet around here somewhere. I'm trying to remember where I put that watch. But anyway, once I find it, I'll do a comparison video. So let's get this out of here. I've not seen this uh, packaging before. The label is just uh, taped on here. And... Uh, Kind of reminds me of, uh, I don't know, like an astronaut dehydrated, dehydrated food package or something. I don't know. So, anyway. It's, uh, it's a G-Shock, like I said. I'm not sure which model this is. Maybe that's what... I don't think it's a 5610. I'll have to go back and look at uh, my conversation with the seller about this watch. It feels pretty heavy though. Looks like a negative, well, it's a negative display, but it's uh, gold colored, I guess. I, I thought it was going to be red. Looks like it's a gold to me though. It's actually pretty hard to see on camera, at least from this angle. So I think I'm going to harvest the combi bracelet for another watch that I have and then put the module inside of a titanium kit that I have, a titanium bracelet kit that I got from, well, from AliExpress a while ago. I don't know if the model's on the back of this or not. See, let's see if I can use the camera here to zoom in. DW5600 BBM. So I'll have to look that up and uh, see what I actually bought here. But like I said, I mainly bought this for the combi bracelet. Uh, since I've become a big fan of the combi bracelet, I um, the other watch I bought. I was going to take the bracelet off of that one and put it on to my 5610. So, anyway, um, put this on wrist real quick for a wrist shot. Looks cool and uh, different lights here. That gold really shines. Yep, there you go. It's coming through on the camera there. So, it looks pretty neat. Put it on my right wrist. I normally wear a watch on my left. I've been wearing this one. Geez, I think I've had this on for two weeks straight now. I've not taken it off uh, at all uh, for showers, sleep, everything. Just been wearing it, trying out uh, wearing a watch for maybe a month or two straight here to see how that goes. Actually, the only time I take it off is for video or for uh, Instagram pictures. So anyway, let me know what you think of this. Uh, have you guys had experience with the combi bracelet? If not, I really recommend you pick one up. It totally changes the the feel. Not the not so much the look of the watch, but well, I mean, it does look a little bit different. But for me, it's it's all about the way the watch feels on wrist. It's it's a uh, it's a game changer having a G Shock Square on the combi bracelet. It just feels so much more comfortable. I uh, I don't think I'll ever go back to a resin strap on a, on a G-Shock. So I think that'll do it for now. Uh, actually, let's see what the backlight looks like on this. If I can figure out which button it is. There we go. So. 
So, all right, as always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.